everyone, my name is Michelle Nolita and I'll be your moderator today. We're going to discuss about pros and cons of smoking. Before we begin, please introduce yourself. Hero Gracia, I'm Jennifer Santoso. My name is Melinda Permata. My name is Grace Laura. Now let's start our discussion. As we may know, smoking is one of the common society problems. Some may believe that it is okay to smoke. But some may believe that the government must ban smoking. What do you think about that? As a contra of smoking, I definitely agree that smoking must be banned, especially in public areas, because some people cannot stand the smell of cigarettes. I agree. Not only the smell that may be inconvenient, the smell of smoke can endanger our health. A passive smoker is way more dangerous than the active smoker themselves. Every cigarette contains nicotine, tar, tobacco, ammonia, and carbon monoxide. These chemicals are very dangerous to human organs that can cause cancer or cardiac arrest. Not only endangering our health, but smoking may endanger our environment too. First of all, we are running out of tobacco, and then the smoke of cigarettes are way more dangerous than the cigarette itself. This may lead to our zone thinning, which may lead to global warming. Hmm, so you believe that is smoking is dangerous for our health and our environment? What about you guys? What do you guys think? I disagree, because the revenue of smoking sales are bringing profits to our government due to its tax revenue. Not only that, in Indonesia, the selling of cigarettes are one of the highest source of income in for the government. In 2016, the country's income of report is 424 million US dollars that is equal to 5.7 trillion rupiah. However, the income of cigarette sales is 138.5 trillion rupiah, a source that stated in May 2014, two cigarettes manufacturers of Sampurna closed down because of the loss of the country's income up to 500 billion rupiah. I believe this is a danger to our country's economical situation. Also, when cigarette manufacturers are closed down, the workers are losing their job. It will be harder for them to find another living source. Another than that, nicotine may lower your appetite. Also, nicotine may increase your, our memory and our concentration, and nicotine are a drug may that may help smoker insomnia problem. But when someone try to stop smoking and also has a de- depression history, they have higher chance to develop their depression again. So, you guys believe that smoking brings profits to our country's income and helps the smoker's problem and health problem. But what do you guys think we ought to do solve this problem when some agree with banning smoking but some disagree? I think that the government should lower the exposure of cigarette advertisements so that not many people will buy cigarettes due to the advertisements shown especially to young children. To support the fact of exposure of cigarette advertisement to youngsters, cigarette sellings must have an age restriction. This may have been applied, but I think that is not so strict enough. I agree. Another than that, public areas should open a smoking area where the smoker can smoke without making other people feel inconvenient with it. Also, maybe the government should set a higher price and tax for cigarettes so that the selling of cigarettes may be reduced. That's good. So in order to help the common smoking problem, the government should be able to control the advertising and marketing of cigarettes to help the smoking problems. So this is the end of our discussion. Thank you guys for your participation in the discussion today. As a contra of smoking, I definitely...